So something else that I've been playing around a lot with is the subwoofers. So trying to put some listening time on the Heart Bottle C18 uh, for its formal review and continuing to evaluate the Arendals, the pair of the Arendals against the C18, trying to think critically about what am I really going to keep? Uh, what do I want in here long term? I need to double check. I think I'm actually past my 60 days on the Arendals, so at this point it might not even matter. I think they're mine. I've really been trying hard to get this set up so that I can very quickly and easily change back and forth between the two subwoofers with the least amount of effort. I, I got really tired real fast of having them in the corner and moving one out to put the other one in. And it, that's just a bad idea all around. I was inevitably going to end up pulling something in my back or probably dropping something, banging something into something else. And I don't want to be responsible for any damage to something that's a demo unit, let alone to something that I paid good money for and I own as well. So it's silly to put the to take the risk like I was doing to constantly moving 100 pound objects, really odd and difficult to lift 100 pound objects around. So I set this up where I was running the Arendals straight face out right at the edges of the rug there. I actually kind of like this better aesthetically. It kind of extends the blackness and it gets the Arendals like more outside the field of view of the screen. And they seem to measure about the same. Quite honestly, in Anthem Arc, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference whether I put something farther to the left at the quarter point or the middle. Stuff in the front wall tends to generally perform the same and generate the same kind of response curve. or very, very close to the same response curves, regardless where it's at in the front wall. So that position is far less critical. And I put the Harbottle in the middle because, of course, it's the single one. Um, so it made sense to have the two symmetrically set and put the Harbottle as an individual in the middle. And what I was trying to do was use Anthemark to make basically two different measurement sets. One with all the speakers and both of the Arendals, and then a measurement B with all the speakers and just the Harbottle, figuring I would be able to take two measurements, apply those measurements to, to different profiles, upload that to the AVM70, and when I wanted to use the Arendals, I would connect the uh, left Arendal to sub one. I'd already have the right uh, Arendal on sub two and select one of the appropriate profiles and I was good to go. And if I wanted to listen to the Harbottle, I would just connect it to subwoofer input one and that profile like three and four would be set to only use one subwoofer and it would have the right measurement attached to it. In Anthem Arc, that's supposed to work. Like as I conceived it, that should work. And I had nothing but problems with that. I wasted a couple hours of my time on Sunday uh, down here trying to get two measurements sequentially to apply to the profiles. And it was like, I, I think I triggered some really latent bugs in the software and it just, it just wasn't working. So somebody on AVS forum, I posted about it there looking for some help and ideas. And somebody made the idea, well, why don't you just treat the Arendals as one sub? So basically come out of sub one into the first Arendal, daisy chain over into the second one, and then come out of the preamp from sub two into the Harbottle, make one measurement, and then just turn on and off certain subwoofers in the profiles, but use the same measurement for every profile. And so that will work. It doesn't give me the discrete uh, filtering and discrete processing for each Arendal, but I think it's going to be close enough and it's probably going to be the simplest solution. So I'm going to embark on one more attempt to get a combined measurement, putting them together. Technically speaking, if I went with more subwoofers, if I stick with the Arendal and in the long run, go with more subwoofers and I don't want to spring for an AVM 90, this is how I would do it anyway. I would have the two front subwoofers daisy chained as sub one and I would have two back subwoofers daisy chained as subwoofer two. So it'll be an opportunity to see what it looks like, what the response curves look like compared, or as with two as one compared to individuals.